Hello, my name's Laura and I'm here at Cats Protection and today I'm here with Poppy. She's very sweet, she didn't want to sit on my lap, she likes to stay down on the floor so uh, I've had to get down here with her. Um, as you can probably see, um, Poppy unfortunately she's been rather too spoilt, um, she has become a bit overweight so she's on a diet now so that we can get her to a healthy weight um, so at the moment um, she, she's possibly at risk for developing diabetes um, or, or her weight could put a lot of strain on her joints um, and she could get, uh, get sore joints or develop arthritis so we want to make sure that doesn't happen for Poppy so we're trying to uh, get her to lose some weight by um, getting her on a diet and getting her to do some exercise and, and playing. So today we've got some pictures here and these have been sent by Olivia and I think Poppy likes these pictures to brighten up her pen. I've put them next to her bed so that she can see them. If you would like to send some pictures um, I've got the address here and I'll also put it uh, in the notes on the video um, but do feel free to send in any of your cat artwork that you'd like to. So today I've got a story for you and today's story is called Click Clack Crocodile's Back and let's see what Poppy makes of this story. Right. Tremble with fear, crocodile's near, his sneaking by with a glint in his eye, slyly disguised as the trunk of a tree, ready to snatch you before you can flee. Slip, slap, it's crocodile's trap, he's squelching and sliding in mud where he's hiding, waiting to snaffle you up in his claws and gobble you down with his terrible jaws. Watch out, crocodiles about, flamingos are pruning, then one of them spies down in the rushes, two mean greedy eyes. Look out, it's crocodile, everyone cries. He keeps creeping up on me, elephant groans, that big sneaky crocodile everyone moans. But monkey is cool, monkey is clever. He has a plan they can all do together. So brave little monkey swings down to the river. A gift for crocodile, he says with a shiver. A gift, says crocodile, very unsure. Why, I've never been given a gift before. Monkey holds out his trembling hand. This present will make you look wonderfully grand. It's a jacket I made from banana peel. Crocodile grins and says, simply ideal. We've made you a, f a hat. The flamingos flock in, making a mess and a terrible din. And Crocodile roars, oh won't I look great? I'll be dashing and sporty and so up to date. Then elephant trumped his a necklace as well. It jingles and jangles and chimes like a bell. Oh wow, says Crocodile with a, with a big smile. Now I'll go hunting in fabulous style. And won't you look wonderful, everyone cheers when you wear these new coconut charms on your ears. Awesome, says Crocodile, giving a growl. I'll wear them each time I go out on the prowl. So Crocodile grinned, his greedy eyes shone as he shot off to dry all his new presents on. Listen, what's making that sound? It's jingling and jangling and prowling around. 
We're shaking and quaking. We're so terrified. It's a wild, crazy animal. Run for it. Hide. Clip, clap, crocodile's back in, in his necklace and jacket and earrings and hat. He can't catch his dinner. He's tried and he's tried, but everyone's heard him. I run off to hide. And there's Crocodile wearing all of his presents all at once there. He does look rather fabulous, but I don't think he's very good at hunting. He's not very good at hiding, is he? So that's the end of today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. I think Poppy's enjoyed it. So I hope you're now feeling ready to, for a good sleep. I've got my next story ready and I look forward to bringing it to you soon. Bye for now.